You see these two people right beside me? Right beside me. One dude tried to be very cool and be the cool guy at the table, the cool guy at the room, and he's been taking heavier loss ever since. The other guy, being Chief Keith, learned how to move after taking all his losses and didn't let it repeat itself. The other guy takes losses after losses and continues the same. Then everybody comes around and get together and start crying as if we didn't see the story already. Ladies and gentlemen, before I start the show, make sure you go to my Instagram, DJ underscore bless one and rock out with the most winningest team out here right now that's growing and booming out here for the better and all of us. Salute, gang. Now, these two dudes come from the same walks of life. Growing up, I've been, we all been watching them for over 13 years now or longer. Some of us longer. Seeing both gentlemen, you can see the mature and the rise in their careers. Now, a lot of y'all going to say, Little Dirk, he got Chief Keep right now. He more popping right now. He's doing better. His money is probably growing. <coughs> You're going to tell me all these things, right? I'm going to tell you who's more richer and who's winning more. Chief Keep is more richer. And I'm not talking about money. He's more happier. You can see the difference. Chief Keith hasn't had a hit out here in years. But every time you see Chief Keith, you see a smile, a real one, not that fake one that Dirk gives to us like his PR team is telling us that he got to do. No disrespect to Dirk. All this is with respect, man. Chief Keith, you can see the happiness when he talks about his kids. When he's around Ball Out, Tato, and all his friends, and Capo's little brother, No Limit, members, and all that. When he's around these guys, you see happiness. Even a G Herbo and his guys. You see people just can't wait to live the next day. Even if it's to play video games, even if it's to go to a music video shoot. Just to just chilling in California, living your best life. The other guy, I feel like he got peer pressure. He can't be who he want to be. He got too much partners in him around him, looking on to him too much for them to live, them to make it. And one other guy naming Chief Keith, he was ready and built for that to take care of the guys, look out for the guys, because he understood it don't matter what everybody else think. It matters about me taking care of these kids of mine, taking care of my guys, we living and being alive over here. It ain't the story of Lil Durkio. yo. It's the story of Keith. Redemption. To see Chief Keith do that therapy session he did years ago should have wake y'all up the difference between Chief and Dirk. Dirk is like everybody we went to school with we knew about. Like the nigga, he's kind of cool behind the scenes. He kind of cool with you, dap it up with you. But when he get around his friends and them, he become a whole different nigga out here. He gets around with all these other cats over here and everything else get amplified. Because I always said that, bro. M money only enhance who you really are. Money don't make you somebody else. Nah, money just make you who you are, but 10 times worse. Chief is a different. Chief is an old soul. A young dude with an older dude's mentality. He was younger than all them guys. Younger than Dirk and all of them. He always was the younger one. But guess why he had that respect? The, the mindset. I don't know if he's business savvy or what. I don't know none of, nothing about that. But I know he reminds me of me and my brothers in them, bro. A nigga that just want to make it out. He reminds me of Kwame Brown so much. You niggas talking about he's the number one draft pick bust and all that. But Kwame is out here regulating ish. Kwame is out here making y'all remind that, bro, I basically made damn near over $100 million in my career. If you add up all the contracts. Big facts. Some of us been fighting all our life just to get a million. This man made multiple millions, got his family out of a pandemic situation, the real pandemic, the streets. It's always been the real pandemic. Now you got Dirk, he's walking out here, but he can't have a real one grabbing him to the side, nigga, get the fuck out of here. Or, or that speaks volume to the people around him. What about the people around him? Because if it was so 100, like y'all say, 
I shouldn't be comfortable enough to be dissing the dead ops because I know one of my bros and them is going to tell me, nigga, knock that clown shit off, bro. You don't got to say Tuka. So who's in the room hyping this man up to continue dissing the dead ops? Continue saying this and that because I see real ones around Chief Keith. When the last time Chief did any diss to any ops, it's been years. Years. Them niggas are living comfortable. Does it still hurt losing all the dead ones that Chief Keith lost? I bet you he cries every other night. But guess what? He gets to wake up, wash his face, and know that he didn't burn bridges with people. He didn't. Even his ops. Don't worry about Chief like that. They're not going out their way to try to get him. Now, if he goes to Chicago, maybe all bets are off. But this will make him different than Dirk. He ain't down there going every day. Now, is he banned from Chicago? Probably so. But you don't hear about him having trips, sending the guys there every day. They don't make their movements. D-Thing should have never been in Chicago, point blank, period. I don't know who lied to D-Thing and told him, bro, you cool. Even though your brother Lil Dirk is dissing everybody and their mama. But D-Thing, you cool. You can come down here today. Now, who the fuck made D-Thing get that comfortable? Rest in peace to D-Thing. Y'all got to ask these stories. Niggas know the streets is dirty. It's foul. I used to go hole in the wall clubs every day. Even on this YouTube. Y'all seen me used to record it. Back in 2017, 16, 15, 14, and people used to flag it and all that. When I think about it, I'm happy people were doing that. Not that, that they're flagging, but I was being stupid. Why I, why I keep going to these type of clubs knowing dudes is going to stick me? Pause. You know what I mean. Knowing things are going to happen. I got kids to live for. I owe it to my family to make it. I owe it to them to not do stupid things like going to the city when I know a lot of folks in them don't want me there. I know a lot of folks in them ain't scared of the police, so why would they get scared to come and get me? How many of cold cases you got down there in Chicago? Unsolved cases, and you still took your happy-go-lucky tail down there, and it's sad. See, I, I was already speaking good for deep thing and the sadness and all that, but now I got to speak this way because there's young kids watching this, and they're excited. They can't wait to be the next Lil Dirk, the next D-Thing, the next King Von, all that, the next Nooski. But tell them the fucking outcome. Chief Keith, he did a video two years ago speaking to the youth. He ain't capped to them. He told them the truth. He told them the truth, bruh. When he did that interview, bruh, with that um psychiatrist or whatever you called him, he let it go. He opened himself. Even though he knew he was being recorded, he let himself go freely to the world. We all had a family member in Chief Keith that day he did that interview. He did the therapy session. I never dissed Chief Keith in the first place. I love all these Chicago guys. Big facts. All my kids. Big facts. But that day, Chief, you became my family. Before Chief, Fredo Santana became my family. Big facts. But Chief Keith let all that hostility go. All that extra trying to be cool, the tough guy. He let it go. He just like one of us. And we've been trying to build that with Dirk since day one. But every time we try to build that with you, Dirk, we get an energy of you this other guy that we don't know, bruh. You, you live in this other type of life. I don't know, gang. And nobody calling Dirk fake. But one thing I know, real killers and steppers and dealers and all that, they all got that innocent side to them. It's Saturday morning. They still eating cereal, watching cartoon with the kids. They still going to Chuck E. Cheese. They still having this this image of being a human, bro. You don't got to portray in your music what you rapping out. You don't got to live it. Don't listen to that lie. Don't, bro. Tell the, t the kids the truth, bro. You got an image you got to uphold. This ain't really who you is, gang. You ain't out here every day just trying to kill people, bro. And if you are, well, that's the sickness. That's the sickness right there. If that is what y'all doing every day, that's the problem, gang. Because if you in that life, you're going to lose people you love. And you're going to lose them bad, bad. You're going to lose them bad. No ifs and buts about it. This is going to be a change that I think everybody needed, bro. There's so much cap going on in the world today. I think everybody needed this change, if you ask me. No ifs and buts about it. To see Dirk going through what he's going through, I feel for you, kid. I feel for you, bro. Voice was trembling earlier. I When I got the news of D-Thing dying, I waited a whole seven hours more because I was one of the few people who got that news early. But, you know, I get a lot of news of such and such dead and not dead. So I tried to dismiss it. 
So this one is going to hurt the heart for real, like Duck used to say. This one right here hurts the heart. Bro, this is a nasty L you took. But I'm, I keep being amazed. No matter how much L's y'all take, y'all keep repeating the same goddamn pattern. You smoking this, you smoking that. How about we just getting this bag? I'm just getting these Benjamin Franklins. That's it, gang. Chief Keith, you an example, bro. Please keep doing what you're doing, bro. And I hope Dirk can learn and manifest the energy that you give out there. I hope Dirk does the same thing, but Dirk is lit right now. And we know when you lit right now, folks in them want to see you gone. I'm your God bless one. Thank you for watching. Y'all make sure y'all go to my Instagram page, DJ underscore bless one. Come rock out with the most winningest team out here. DJ underscore bless one. Salute to y'all.